there is hope ahead and there's a lot of competition because whoever comes up with a high density, high energy density battery will get a lot of... Talking batteries here with our favorite battery expert from Toronto, Ash. We've talked about the dominance of China before, but actually the dominance of China is very much limited to the LFP battery space. Indeed, and it's pretty compartmentalized throughout the world. So China dominates in LFP, other companies in the West dominate in NMC and other chemistries. And so the reason why you're seeing this race towards solid state, not only from Toyota, but from Samsung, from Chinese manufacturers as well, and from Western manufacturers like QuantumScape and Volkswagen, is that it, it essentially represents an opportunity for them to start from from scratch, from zero. And so they know that others also don't have a technical advantage. And so starting from scratch is essentially resetting the race, in a sense, giving them a fresh a blank page uh, to go from zero to 100. And whoever gets there first will get the market share. Okay, so that sounds like a great opportunity uh, for North America, but also Europe to re-enter a different race. And with solid state batteries hitting the market, supposedly from Toyota in 2025, what other battery technologies do you see after that where there will be a new race open for everybody to enter? Well, the, the role of solid state batteries helps to essentially enable further battery technologies. And so once we see solid state batteries performing in a reliable fashion, then we will start to see solid lithium within the battery, solid lithium anodes. And so that will essentially further increase the energy density. But to do that, you need the safety that a solid state electrolyte can bring. But once uh, solid state hopefully reaches mass market in 2025, there will be new battery technologies building on that and everybody will have to basically start uh, in a new race and we will then still have to see which regions, which companies are going to dominate those future battery technology areas. Yes, exactly. So once you've solved the, uh, you know, the safety aspect and the, and the risks, then you can so slowly start to increase the energy density of the anodes and cathodes, increase the surface areas. And by doing that, you're essentially leapfrogging and going towards high energy density batteries. So we're trying to target at least 500 watt hours per kilogram. And we are currently at? We're currently at about 280, I would say. Okay, so for everyone driving an EV with range anxiety, there is hope. There is hope ahead and there's a lot of competition because whoever comes up with a high density, high energy density battery will get a lot of demand from the grid scale application and also from EVs.